Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Valagar Alavane. Uh, this video here, we're going to be doing the Wave Crash Library or recovering the Lost Tome. Um, now, this quest has moved several times from when it originally was uh, placed in the game. It actually used to be located just over there at that tower. It was the lighthouse there. But uh, now it is located more towards the center of the harbor. Um, given by Delsmaria Kodri. So we're going to go pick up the uh, quest here and step in. Now it's another straightforward quest as most quests at lower level are. Uh, when you first walk in, the librarian you're by the cheerfully librarian. agrees to show you his collection. He leads you below the tower, then motions you closer to speak. And I definitely recommend, even if you are gonna do like party buffs and so on and so forth, I definitely recommend talking to him first, as he does take a little bit of while to get going. Um, and you need him to do his NPC thing. Now, I do want to point out, while he's doing that, again, you can party buff as well. There are some traps here. The air here. is chilly and damp. Despite this, uh, the, the book trap box is actually located behind this pillar here. To it, now, it doesn't disable wait for him to leave all the traps. All it does is I'll disable these books. jets on this side and this side. These spike traps, if you can see these four little holes, those ones are still active. Um... From there, all we need to do is make our way behind here. Uh, if we actually look, we can see the shelf that is the slightly... The librarian has left the room. Quick, oh, obtain the book and return to That Del is Summer. slightly out of place. Uh, it will always be this one here. And basically, we got to walk for him to come up here, point at that bookshelf to let us know that's the one. Then we just collect it. The librarian's voice shrieks. I know your true intentions, right, so those are those, My uh, traps will be the traps end I was of you. talking about earlier. Those spike ones. All right. So from here, we're gonna head through the door, going to the west. Now, the path here, uh, just at the end of those stairs, does break off, going north and south. Uh, you need to go down both paths. If you have a competent group, I definitely recommend splitting up the party. I know, it's a terrible thing to do in real D&D, but um, for the sake of DDO, it does make it go a little bit quicker. So, heading south, you do want somebody with intelligence. Um, not just the player, but the character as well. Um, so as you can see, all the lightning traps. If you use your um, search feature, uh, which is base set up by Q and E, you can notice uh, that there are ruins. Now we can actually target this one here, and if we can get around the corner, oh, I was hit, we can actually activate these ruins, which shuts off the lightning trap in this section. Now I do want to point out that if you go on the opposite side that the runes are located on, it will spawn in zombies. Generally speaking, when you go on the same side of the ruin, uh, I did say generally speaking, uh, there isn't the same amount of enemies, if there are any enemies at all. Um, so this time we're just going to hop here. Okay, so this time we got one enemy on this side, but he's not even going to stand up. And on this side here, got one that wants to stand up. So, though he was there, and we can clearly see him under the water, he's not actually getting up to do anything. And then again, same thing. Hop in the corner, use the rune, turn off the trap. And then, all that's left to do is pull this lever here, making sure that it lights up. And that is the uh, the south side passage. Uh, I'm just going to go through and see if we can't find any more enemies, which there are none. All that's left is to leave this side. Now, I do want to point out, if you are noticing, there's now lightning outside of the room. 
Um, and this is just what happens when you uh, pull those runes. It kind of reverts the lightning to this trap. So it can hit you sometimes, just be careful. But for the most part, once you pull those runes, you are pretty safe. Now, back to the pass. When you go to the North Passage, there are just two undead guards here, which activate once you go pull the lever and go through the door. Um, at this point, again, there is a lever to pull. And once you pull this lever, there are a couple of undead just right around the uh, lever here, which then become active. So just watch yourself there. And when you pull that lever, um, I know some groups when they first start in here, they do get confused and think that's it, that's all. Um, all this actually does is drop the barriers on the two sides. Now, the path that you need to go down is the north path, as it actually has the lever. And you can actually use, the again, the search feature, the Q, to uh, pull that up, or rather the targeting feature. And again, pull the lever here. This one opens up this path to again pull the main lever and it lights that crystal there. So again you want to make sure that you get the ones that have the crystals on it. If however in this room you choose to go south, um, there is an adventures pack. So if you're collecting those collectibles, definitely recommend going back there and uh, grabbing that one, uh, at least for the bit. Generally speaking, you get a lot of those lower level tier ones. So don't be too worried about collecting all those ones. Uh, if you look here, they're actually spilling out uh, these two types, the prayer beads and the wooden idols. They're uh, spilling out of my collectibles bag, meaning I have over a thousand of them. Uh, so you do collect them fairly often. And, you know, don't be too worried about missing that one. From here, we're actually going to want to head to the start of the quest, back to the main room here where we thought we were stealing the book. And with those two levers pulled, it actually opens up this door here, allowing us to further sneak past. Now, here's something I do want to point out. If you do have intelligence, uh, and you were able to get the runes over there, there's actually another rune right here. And if you get and pull this rune, what's going to happen is, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right up there on that beam, there's three little lightning traps. If you pull that rune now, those three never activate, and it never actually spawns in uh, these three enemies. However, I want the kills, as it will help us to get uh, a little bit of bonus here. There we are. Now, as soon as they die, or you pull the rune here, um, of course, we can pull it now. It won't really do anything, as the lightning already did its thing. It, what will happen is it will drop the barrier here, allowing us to use the bookshelf. Now, if you notice, we have another lever here. Most people actually don't know what that lever does. And from my memory, it uh, locks off one of the gates here. But again, I could be mistaken. Um, they also might have removed the uh, functionality of that one there. Alright, so now there are two rooms here. Or, well, two paths. Right to the south, we do have a chest. However, the chest itself is trapped. I'm trying to... Okay, it doesn't want to be set off there. So the control panel is just in the corner behind the boxes. Pull that, and of course you can get in loot the chest. Now, if you do not have a trapper, what some groups do is they actually wait to complete the quest by just clicking on this bookshelf here. 
and then running right past the trap, hugging the back wall, looting the chest because the trap just goes off here. And if you're far enough back to the wall, you do not get hit. Now, again, for the sake of completing everything, if you go to the north path, you will see another chest here. And right on the left and the right side of the, uh, the doorway, there is a couple of skeleton guards. So one here, one here, and they like to just try and flank you there. Uh, again, at the back of the room, there is a ruin. Again, these do require specific stat levels to activate. Um, I'm not too specific on the exact numbers, uh, but I, again, I do believe it is an intelligence rune. And all that happens is it spawns in a couple of fire methods. And that's it. Now, doing all those little extras actually was able to get us all the way up to Onslaught bonus. Which, you know, extra experience is always awesome. So we can grab our loot now. Head right to the end. You know what, I'm just going to pull the lever just because I can. And uh, grab our bookshelf. You have found what you're looking for. It is time you know, to leave this easy vile quest. place. It took a little bit of time, but, you know, you can speed that up if you're not stopping to explain everything and just choosing to run right through. Uh, all that's left now is to grab a reward. The rewards for this quest are just the standard rewards. There's nothing special about them. Uh, just more random trash loot. Now, we use tr a lot of players use the trash loot. Uh, actually, sometimes it can be very good. Uh, you can get some really nice named items. Or rather, really nice random generated items. Um, that really work well with your build. And I myself, uh, there are times where I've actually used some random generated loot. As it is better than even sometimes some of the named items for specific purposes. Um, but anyway, that is the Recovering the Lost Home quest. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, all.